This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this video, we're going to examine and modify class names on our HTML elements. First, let's open a page that we can modify. You'll find this in Working Files, Chapter 5 folder, and it's named 0503example.html. You should also open the stylesheet file, styles.css. Now you can modify classes in the same way as any other attribute, and we can use jQuery's ATTR method. In addition, the property name is actually class, whereas in native JavaScript, it's class name. However, classes are slightly different to other attributes. The main reason is that you can append any number of class names to a single element. Let's do that on the header. So you can see that we've applied three classes, all separated by a space. And in our style sheet, if we had any styles defined for these classes, they would all be applied. Now we've also seen in earlier videos that it's possible to apply one or more CSS properties using jQuery's CSS method. Let's try that now. And we'll choose all the paragraph tags. Run the CSS method. And let's change the color to red. We save the file and run that. We'll see all the paragraph tags get changed to red. However, this is a little impractical and you probably won't want to do it too often. First of all, the best place for style information is within your style sheet. Also, this list of properties could grow extremely long. It's far more difficult to maintain it in JavaScript, so the best place for it, again, is in your style sheet. What you can do is define classes within your CSS file and then change those class names within the HTML or JavaScript. So as you can see, the header at the moment is a little bit dull. But we've defined a class within our style sheet called Bright, and it makes it a little bit more interesting. So to apply the bright class to our header tag, we use the add class method in jQuery. So let's select the header, add class, and the class name of bright. If we save our file, we can now refresh the page, and it looks a lot more interesting. Now the other difference here is that jQuery has kept our existing classes. So the class one, class two, and class three classes that we defined earlier on are still applied. And we can inspect those within Firebug. If we right click on the header and choose inspect element, you can see the header still shows class one, class two, class three, and now of course our new bright class. Now you'll be unsurprised to hear that jQuery provides a remove class method. Let's try that. If we save our file, refresh, our bright class was applied and it was removed. So the page has gone back to its original state. Again, if we inspect that element, we'll see that class one, class two, and class three are still there, but the bright class has gone completely. Now adding and removing classes is very useful in JavaScript because it allows us to maintain the state of an object. So for example, you may have a widget which is opened and collapsed by adding or removing an open class. Now we can check for the existence of a class in jQuery using the has class method. So let's go back to our code. Add the has class method. And again, add bright. And this will return true if the bright class has been added. Obviously this command on its own won't do very much. So let's output it to the developer console. And if we put it as well below where we removed it, save our file, open Firebug and go to the console, then hit refresh. We'll see that the bright class is applied, so it returns true. 
but then we remove it so it returns false. Finally, jQuery provides a toggle class method which applies or removes the class depending on whether it's applied or not. So at this point in our code, the class has been removed. So let's apply toggle class. Bright. So with luck, our more interesting header should now be applied again. And there you are.